We're breaking free from barrenness. Oh, yes. yeah. What is barrenness? It means we're incapable of producing an offspring. Mm. It also means being empty and non-productive. Mm. That's not your portion. Let's Amen. Go to, let's go to Genesis 7, verse 30. Let's be together. But Sarah was barren and she had no child. Let's go to Genesis 25, verse 21. Let's read together. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated. And Rebecca, his wife, was conceived. Amen. Let's go to 1 Samuel 1, verse 2. And he had two wives. The name of the one was Hannah, and the name of the other Penina. And Penina had children, but Hannah had no children. Hannah had no children. So it meant that she is barren. All right. Let's go to Isaiah 46, verse 8 to number. Yes, Isaiah. Isaiah. Sorry. 46, verse 8. Opportunities around you. For example, I saw an opportunity 
construction, I realize that most people are building mm -hmm. and are benefiting for it. Amen. So look around you. Have a vision, but also look for opportunities. Hallelujah. Amen. Give sacrificial, not blindly. Amen. Have a relationship with the Holy Spirit in your business, in your, in your business dealings. I remember two weeks ago we talked about the Holy Spirit and having a relationship with the Holy Spirit in your business dealings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you have a relationship with the Holy Spirit, you are able to go out there and make a decision in your business. Hallelujah. Amen. You should also care for the needy. I'm sure you have clothes, you have old clothes that you can actually give away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is how we connect. How, that is how we connect. That is how we break free. Amen. Uh, above all, work hard. Prayer only will not give you money. Oh, yes. Prayer only will not bring fruitfulness. Amen. So you have to look for opportunities, have a vision, and then you work hard. Oh, yes. All hard work brings a profit. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. All
Come on.